On July 29, 2013, folks gathered at the Valero McKee Refinery Station 19 to honor the 19 men who were killed 57 years ago in an explosion at the plant that rocked the area. I just remember that it was on a Sunday morning and um, the sky was full of uh, black smoke and the sirens were going off and a lot of chaos. People were, you know, uh, running to neighbors' homes and um, I guess just getting the news and was very disturbed and a lot of crying. Joe Harp was 10 when she heard her father, Virgil Wayne Thomas, had been killed. Today, a monument to those volunteer firemen from Dumas and Sunray who lost their lives stands to the south of the state capitol. Sunray's Dawson Popejoy remembers the explosion. They had an ambulance for each individual that was that was deceased, and they go in and get a, a body, you know, and I, I was, it probably took at least three minutes to go to go in and out. But other than that, why, well, you know, everybody was uh, going to Dumas to the to the mortuary over there. This is the first year the memorial ceremony has been held on Valero property, which was once the Shamrock Oil and Gas Tank Farm. Station 19 is named after the number of firefighters killed. Fire Chief Larry Copeland has been with the company since 1979. The thing that we have taken from it, and, and something I try to get on every year, is the fact that we've grown from that. We, we learn from the people that came before us. The significance of any firefighter dying in the line of duty is that it should come back to teach us what went wrong so it don't happen again. It's just something that you won't ever forget. No matter how much time has gone by, it's still very disturbing. Larry Lemons, Pro News 7.